for the mention of Kyrie there because we finally got to see the project. Look, Mavs lost, okay, to the Kings. It was an overtime there, but we got to see Luca and Kyrie. Everybody's waiting on that. Uh, Luca afterwards said, it's only our first game together, but it's so fun to play with this guy. He's an amazing basketball player, and I think it's going to be really fun. First game, it was really fun. Mark that quote down for months from now. I just want to make sure we remember all those words. Um, it's only one game, Chandler. Have you seen enough? Is this thing going to work? Uh, listen, I think it's a work in process, but I do think these guys understand what has to be done. They're both smart enough players. They're both so advanced and so good offensively that this should be able to work. And I think when you look at where they are, they're right there in the thick of things in the West. They're in home court advantage. Uh, they got better. Uh, they definitely they got better. Kyrie Irving is a special talent. I went to the game against the Clippers, um, and it seems very positive. Everyone's excited. Uh, obviously, it's, it was the first <laughs> game, but... Uh, it, there's, there's a lot to go with this. And I think they know this is, this is kind of a, this is a trial period and everyone's kind of on their best behavior. Everybody's trying to do the right thing here. Uh, but I think offensively, this is a perfect match. I think these guys know how to play with other stars. They know how to shoot the ball. They know how to play, make, they know how to space the floor. They've done a good job kind of adding shooting around these guys. But to me, the Mavs, Josh Green and Jaden Hardy, these are two guys that have gotten no love all year long. And when I went to that game and I watched them, these guys can really play. They play hard. They can score the ball. Uh, these are two guys that they're going to need to kind of have that impact off the bench moving forward. But there's holes defensively. There's holes with their size. I think they need to get Maxi Kleber back. He's going to be big for them. But I, I do think this will work. And I do think uh, there's going to be a lot of challenges throughout the rest of the season. But this was to me was a great move for Dallas. And again, it's the same thing with with Phoenix. You 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 want to go get a Kevin Durant? You're going to have to give up some stuff, and it's going to be some sort of a risk. He's 34 years old, etc. Same thing for the Mavs. You had a chance to go get the best player available at the time. They did it. Yeah, look, they're they're going to be an absolute monster on offense, and you can just see the struggle with guarding that team and those two guys. What I wonder going forward is how they work them together. You know, when when Kyrie played with LeBron, he was a screener a lot for LeBron at the point of attack, and and like Chandler mentioned, he knows how to play with other stars. He's done this, and he's he's thrived in this role. And I wonder <laughs> when they get into that, when they get into pet, pet plays like that, and pet actions that will make them better. There was a lot of hot potato, a lot of your turn, my turn, and a lot of that, and they ultimately lost. So their, their defensive struggles will persist, and, and they do have to bend quite a bit to cover for Luka, who kind of just doesn't defend, and Kyrie, who has his struggles on that end I as know. well. But uh, they're they're good enough. They're talented enough offensively, and and like like Chandler mentioned, the young the young boys they got waiting in the wings. Those are snipers out there who can make some stuff happen. So this is going to be a very interesting team watch going forward, and, and they're going to be a dangerous out in the playoffs. All right, Chandler, I have a question for you. You're a fan looking for a team right now. Are you picking the Mavs with Luca and Kyrie, or are you picking the Suns with KD? Oof. To me, I'm a home. <laughs> I'm a homer. I'm going with the Mavs. Honestly. Uh, you, you think? Look, they have the same <laughs> record, the same record at home, the same record on the road. So we will see which trade kind of worked better from this moment forward. But to me, it's the, it's the depth of the Dallas Mavericks. Like the two kids I just mentioned, they have, uh, they still have guys like Christian Wood, Tim Hardaway Jr., Reggie Bullock. To me, they have more outside those two stars. And uh, that's huge to me. Obviously, they have their holes with depth. They have their holes with defensive, uh, defensively size etc but when you look at this team this is going to be an offensive juggernaut and kevin durant is older in age chris paul is older in age deandre Ayton, let's not forget about all the issues he's been through in phoenix so to me <laughs> i think the safer pick is dallas but man really? it's, it's hard to bet against kevin durant I, that's that's crazy yeah a four or five is uh man let's start the let's start it today might as well we know where everybody's gonna be yeah <laughs> not this year um shams look for those of us who are not capable of living in the now and we just want to look ahead, this time next year, Kyrie, will he be in that Mavs uniform? What are we thinking here? I think if, if everything goes well the rest of the season and then in the summertime, listen, uh, he's going to be a free agent. He's going to be going through another free agency process, take meetings. That's something he did not do last go around in, in 2019 when him and Kevin Durant went and, and went to the Brooklyn Nets. They didn't really meet with Sean Marks and Kenny Atkins and meet with other organizations before they made that decision. Uh, so now I think him having a, a actual free agency 
uh, as long as everything goes well the remainder of the season, the Mavericks were one of his preferred spots. We saw at the end uh, at the end of, of it, it was Lakers, Suns, Mavs. I don't think Kyrie Irving had a problem going to either of those teams. And I really think in Dallas, he has a great fit with Mark Cuban as the owner. Nico Harrison, who him and his family know. Jason Kidd vouched for him heavily throughout this season. This is something that's been in play for the Mavericks ever since really November. Ever since that tweet went out uh, with, with the anti-Semitic material movie um, and, and everything that happened that kind of casted Kyrie Irving's future up in the air. And now he is a Dallas Maverick, and, and I think we'll see how the remainder of the season goes. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, listen, again, this is a this is a wait and see kind of thing, and hopefully this goes well for the for the Dallas Mavericks, but he, he has to be, or this is a very, very, very bad trade for the Mavs. And you would think there'd be some sort of deal here in place, but he's going to go through free agency. He said, I'm not talking about free agency. I'm not talking about extending my contract, um, you know, till the summer. But after seeing Kyrie talking to him in LA, he seems happy. And and he wanted to go to Dallas. Like, like Sharps just said, he had a couple of teams, but he was open to going to Dallas. He has a great relationship with Mark. He's got a great relationship with J kid and Nico. It seems like a good fit. Obviously a lot of things can happen throughout the rest of this season. And, but I'm with Shams. I think if, if everything goes well and, and, you know, they make a nice little run there, I can see him getting a, you know, three to four year deal extension and, uh, and for a max uh, in Dallas. Eddie, so the options are he either stays in Dallas or he asks for another trade. How shocked no would you else, be? Listen, if it doesn't work in Dallas, no one else is paying him. So if, if, if I'm oh, Kyrie. please. For a long, yes, somebody long, will pay him. They're not giving him multiple I, years. I think, Chandler, sports are stupid. That's why. That's why. Somebody will. It's, it's like we fall for it every <laughs> single time. So, or somebody falls for it, right? Like, it's not us. What do you think, Eddie? Would you be shocked at all? I wouldn't be shocked at <laughs> either direction. I, I I wonder what works right. is like. Are they they win a playoff series? Does that works if if he shoots bad in the you know the conference semis? Is that that <laughs> linger into his free agency? If if he's taking ten meetings, is Mark Cuban sitting there a little miffed about that? Like, hey, I really went out on a limb for you. I, I wouldn't say anything is a sure bet. With Kyrie, I, I think the safest bet is a little bit, you know, a little bit of dysfunction and a, and a little bit of uncertainty when it comes to Kyrie. I, I think he means well. I think he's a great guy. I think he's an incredible player. And I think he wants to stay in Dallas as of right now. But what is this, February, uh, March, April, May, June? J Five months is a long time. Five months is a long, long time. time is all I'll say. That's, a, that's <laughs> forever. That, that is a really yeah, so long that, time. It's like this is why you don't mention divorce and wedding vows. It'd be a little awkward, but I feel like that's Kyrie Irving <laughs> in a nutshell. Uh,